Wiggity wiggity, what is up, YouTube? To the whole PlayStation Raptor Nation, your boy Jay Brandon here back on the YouTube scene. Today, I'm bringing you a little gun detail about one of the SMGs that I have recently tried out, and I would say is up there with the Honey Badger, if not hunt better than the Honey Badger. And that is what you're going to see here is the MTAR X. This is a little 16 and 8 gameplay, you know, it's pretty decent. I always run solo for one. Sometimes I play with people here and there, but I'm usually 99% of the time I run solo. I don't lobby search. I don't really care if I get stuck in the lobby full of scrubs and so be it. But other than that, I don't even care if I'm running up against the whole party. I am going to play it against that whole party because if I feel good about the game and I do positive and I go like a 1.5 KD versus a whole squad, then I know I played good because it's all about how you play the game and how you perceive it. But anyways, the MTRX, right off the bat, I start off to a 3-0 little start. And uh, I would have to say that the recoil on this is low to moderate, if any. If you're on long distance, it's it's quite moderate, not too bad. But then that's when you just gotta kinda tap the trigger, just tap, tap, tap. Like I was saying in the past with the Remy 10-5 assault rifle. But the MTRX, it shoots fast has low to like you know like I said moderate recoil has a huge clip and right here I was just uh, one of the subscribers to my page suggested that I run with the support package and in my opinion the support package actually uh, probably does just as good for you as the assault package because the assault packages be truthful in this game they're pretty horrible when the dog that's a four kill streak with hardline pro basically can get you just as many kills if not more than a helo pilot and the one to be age six in this game just sucks and uh the thing about the mtrx it has a big magazine it reloads pretty fast when you got uh sight of hand and it's an smg so you got really good mobility with with, with agility that i use you, you could run faster with it you can move straight fluff to right faster with it but the smg with the recoil not the recoil the iron sights for this smg isn't the greatest i tried using it and uh you would actually maybe there has to be another perk or something where you bring the gun up even faster than uh than the first perk in the game but it just the iron sights is pretty horrible for this that's why i had to go with the red dot and once i went with the red dot i had a 16 and 8 and then a 16 and 2 and then just recently before i'm making this commentary I just had a 27 and 11 gameplay, which, you know, running solo, almost 30 kills on uh, the map overload. And he, th this gun seems to be pretty fair. It's pretty good. I would say, it, it, I don't watch too many MLG events, but I would say this would have to be one of the favorites in their events if they don't use the Honey Badger. And not only that, it seems like the, the jump shot worked a lot better in Blops Deuce than it does here in Call of Duty Ghost. Every time I try to go up against somebody and get and uh, jump shot, it just doesn't work that well. Maybe it works pretty decent here at the MLG level because everybody, probably everybody, jump shots. But I would say a drop shot works ten times better from what I can see in Call of Duty Ghosts than it would in uh, any other game that people jump shot with. So, what's your guys' opinions? Uh, leave the comments down below. Let me know what gun you think is better. I've heard uh, the K7 being pretty good, but I used the K7 and I just really wasn't impressed with it. Maybe it's because I used it earlier on in the game when I didn't uh, have all the enough COD points or squad points to unlock other attachments to the gun. And another thing I want to do a video on is uh, adding an extra attachment even worth it. To waste points on if you're not going to not even points on because that's a uh, has to do with the perks but is it worth it to waste you know wait waste something that you could use something else on let me know in the comments down below and let me know what setup that you would what gun and what setup you would actually want to see me run and maybe we could try that out as a series or just maybe you know all right here I go kind of low beast on it. It's a whole team and I just go ham on them and say, look, boom. And I kill this third dude behind here and then someone else takes me, takes me out. Look, that's three or four kill streak. Then I kill this dude right before someone takes me out. Boom, get him, took him out, but out. And then I get shot from the back. Anyways, that's what I just want to talk about though. This SMG and SMGs in general. Uh, this one right here, 
the honey badger and the assault rifle the Remington 5 is probably my most favorite gun so far in this game and the MK14 is a pretty beast gun too but if you don't use a single shot here like for a while it's kind of hard to get used to again when you when you try to go with with it I'm pretty much an assault rifle fully automatic type of dude I do like the single shots on big maps anyways uh, this is your boy J Brown and Raptor Nation about sums up this video leave a comment subscribe if you're new and as always I'm gonna leave you with a big roar at the end of this video PlayStation Raptor Nation baby and I'm out roar